Hello there, everyone. <laughs> I am SoulSewer17, and let me first like usual, do not own this picture, and this is a non paid video. Alright, so I'm finally doing this what if after a long time, um, which I'm gonna make some things clear to you guys. Um, I am up. I tried to fall asleep. I was just really tired. Actually, no, I actually tried to work on this video, and then I was just like, I was tired. I was falling asleep. Next thing you know, I couldn't fall asleep. So I stayed up, and it is 3.02 in the morning right now. So I thought, hey, why not take another shot at this? So, yeah. <laughs> Last time we left off is, you know, Donzo basically tried to kill Naruto. <laughs> he, I made him come back to life. Well, I made him not be able to die, and he only died natural causes, which the Koski do not know. So, well, natural causes of old age. So the Koski do not know, and they see he was in the bingo book, and his and he is the fox, Rupert the Leaf, and he is an S rank. So they're going to train. And I believe... I'm at the part where Naruto should be going on his two year, you know, two to three year time skip to be in Shippuden. So, I'm going to put this series on hold just for a while. Just so I can watch a few episodes of Shippuden because I cannot really remember them. I know when he comes back. I know he fights Kakashi. He goes saves Gara, and all of that. And then after that, um, he faces Aruchimar. He meets Sasuke. He meets also Sai. And I just don't remember anything else after that. So I have to watch them or not really. But in this one, Sasuke is going to be around, and Orochimaru, I believe I had him to be, the you know, working with the village. So he's basically going to be a part of the village again, just because of Naruto. But still, Naruto will have to leave the village for, during this time skip. And Sasuke will be leaving the village too, while Sakura is going to be in the village. And... Well, she's going to get stronger and learn some more jutsus. So, yeah. And she's going to be the medical ninjutsu. While though Naruto, I would, you know, just say this. When he comes back to the village, he's going to be ten times stronger. And Eno's going to be with him, too. I am not having Eno not being with him. So, freak that. <laughs> So, yeah. And, well, I don't really, there's really not much I can do because the whole entire freaking, like, going after Sasuke in that fight scene will never happen. So, yeah. Weird, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, I can, you know, go to the valley to end scene because there is none. Well, I mean, I could just have Naruto and him just spar for one last time to see who's stronger. Meh. Why, why the heck not? Will we have him, you know, do do that? And I forgot the guy's name He, that Naruto fought. You know, Kabuto was, you know, took in and killed by Ruchimaru. Um... Karamari? Karamari? Um, the guy with the bones. Free. Give me a minute. Yeah, Karamaru. There we go. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna have it happen. You know, he fights him, then he fights Sasuke. Mmm, the curse mark, and he's gonna get level two. Um,. Yeah, I didn't have him be able to, fit, you know, not do anything, so... And Eno's on the team? 
Yeah. Yeah, I believe I get no. I be. I believe I get Sasuke the curse mark. Yeah, I believe it. So let's get into this. What if? All right. <laughs> so this is where Naruto had the Grim Reaper's powers, Part Eight. All right. So after Naruto being stabbed by Donzo, he runs back over. You know, to the his place. Well, not his. Eno's house. So, when he gets back there, he shows them the jacket and all. And they're saying, you know, good job. And Eno knows the stab wound on Naruto. She asks, Naruto, how, how did you get that? He goes like, oh, Donzo stabbed me. And she's like, but how are you? He goes like, turns out I can't die. I can only die probably a natural age. She's like... So, immortal? He goes, yeah. So, no poisons will work on me. I probably will, I don't know, come back from being stabbed multiple times. Who knows about my head? Um, if that does happen, then... Eh, that's going to be kind of creepy. Kind of weird. She goes, yeah, that is true. Well, I mean, my neck is... my Well, my neck or my skin is probably thick. Not thicker than others, but... More denser. My skin's probably harder. As you know. Krama. Does come out. And. He tells Naruto. Like. He says. Your skin's. Ten times tougher than any blade on this planet. Nothing can pierce for your skin anymore. Also. When you died. It seemed like. There was something there. A wall. Stopping you kid. He goes, really? Yeah. Seems like the flame in your, your, you know, your chakra wasn't going down at all. It just stayed there. Heck, you might even gotten stronger because you died. And Naruto kind of been shot by this. Same thing with Eno and her parents. She And he goes like, wait, what? What do you mean? It was like, I don't know. It just seems like your chakra, when it burst, it became even more powerful. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it out myself. Just be careful. You never know what could happen. Your Kekai Genkai is unusual, kid. Remember that. As Naruto, you know, nods. So, after, um, you know, them just eating. Well, no, after talking and waiting for dinner and eating and stuff. We're just gonna go to basically... Orochimaru. That night, Orochimaru made a decision. He calls the Sound Ninja 4, saying, We are going to the Hidden Leaf Village, and we are getting a proposal from... No, we're going to give a proposal to the, the fifth Hokage. You know, Lady Sinade. Wait, you know, he'll just say Sinade. As they're not, you know, no, they're okay with it, but at the same time, they don't understand why, you know, Orochimaru is so kind, and literally, they just asked, like, one of the sounds before, um, the, the must, the baby, no, the one with the two heads, basically, as why we're going, why we, you know, working with them, is it all because of that kid, Naruto Uzumaki, and Orochimaru doesn't lie, he was like, well, yes, actually, it seems his Kekai Genkai is very interesting. Like Kirimaru. Like Ki, Kim, 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 Kimimaru. With his bone. You know, Kekai Genkai. It's very unique and different. But we're gonna have him come with us. I wanna see if Naruto can tell how much life he has and he can change it. If he can, then. <laughs> We may have the Grim Reaper on the earth then. And some of them are afraid by this. They're just hoping Naruto, this Naruto kit isn't the Grim Reaper and all. So yeah, so they get Kirimaru. And um, they tell him what's happening. And he just gets up like he does in canon. But in this case, they're going to go to the Hidden Leaf Village. So it takes them about a day... 
Ugh, now I'm starting to get tired. What the freak? It takes them like almost a day. Well, they left during the night, so yeah, it takes them like all the way to 10 o'clock in the morning. And an Anbu comes to get, you know, Naruto, and you know, they were just like chilling, you know, in the living room, you know, just like talking and stuff. Karamo just sitting on, you know, Eno's lap, just being petted. So, you know, they go to Tsunade's, the Hokage's office. Jiraiya is there, along with Orochimaru. And Kiyomaru and Sanji are four, and... Well, Tsunade is pretty much shocked that the whole, you know, Orochimaru, you know, came and just made a proposal on Sasuke. And he, like, even said... You can even have, you know, Kakashi sensei with, you know, Kakashi with us. I just want to train Sasuke now. Nothing more, nothing less. That's all. I'm more interested in the Naruto book. Naruto. As Kekai Genkai. As, you know, he's not really into the whole entire, like, immortality thing anymore. That's the thing. He's more on how to figure out... Can someone have this Kekai Genkai? So yeah. So Naruto is able to see you know, the sound of four and someone he doesn't know. And he wrote more. He goes, yo, <laughs> snake, what do you need me? Why are you here? He was like, oh, Naruto. <laughs> and your girlfriend? As you know, Enos gets right behind him and he goes, <laughs> Well, I didn't know you already had a girlfriend. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving, can't they? As Naruto says, "Yeah, you look young, but you yet you look, but you're old as a, you know, you're just old." As Orochimaru laughs and says, "That is true." He basically, you know, walks up to Naruto and just says, "Naruto, would you mind seeing my, one of my sound ninjas?" The one with the long silver hair, or white hair. Kirimaru. Uh, you know, Kirimaru steps forward. As Naruto can see the, you know, his chakra and his flame, basically. And he's, like, can already tell it's, you know, dying off. And there's, like, no, there was basically, like, he doesn't know what he wants him to do. He just says, oh, I just want to see if you can... Find what's killing him and cure it. And Naruto just says, easier said than done. <sighs> so, I want to say Naruto finds out the reason. But, he probably can't really do anything. Aruchimaru says, huh, so you can see people's deaths. Come in, but you can't change them. And Naruto says, "Oh no, I can, but it has to be in a battle situation or like fighting. I think I can't just suddenly touch somebody. And be like, oh, there you go, <laughs> you're cured. So, yeah, I don't know what you what you want me to do. As you know, then you know, Karama says, Naruto, look at him again. As you know." Kiramaru's flame is starting to go up. Okay, if you guys are wondering why I'm doing this, I'm BSing this. It's because one, I like Kiramaru. He's a good character, and I want to see more of him. And which, you know, Orochimaru was ask him, how you feel, Kiramaru? As, well, he says, I feel weird. As Naruto takes a, you know, closer work, and he sees his chakra. You know, his black chakra going throughout, you know, Kirimaru's body. And it, you know, even goes to the the disease that was killing him. And next thing you know, all of a sudden, a few minutes pass, and Naruto just sees what's happening. And then the, his chakra basically goes right out of Kirimaru's body and right back into him. No, 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 no. It comes out of Kirimaru's body and evaporates. And Kirimaru says he feels great, actually. Better than ever. 
And so Orochimaru says, oh, how about a little test to see who's Kekai Genkai stronger, yours or Naruto? And Naruto just shrugs at it. He says, all right. But then he asks, so what's the real reason why you're here? He goes, oh, <laughs> the Koski are, you know, the Katsuki are after you, right? Naruto nods. He goes, Jiraiya was going to take you on a three-year, you know, a three-year trip to get stronger. And I want to get Sasuke stronger. Along with Tsunade, you know, taking up this... Wait, 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 I said Sakura. Oh, yeah, 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 now I remember what I was thinking when I, when I was thinking of trying to make this, what if Sakura still gets trained by Sonate and still gets the, you know, the super strength. Eno's not a part of the team. It's Sakura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, Eno's even getting trained by her ass. She says she already has a student already, and it's Sakura. And Eno is saying to herself, Sakura is already being trained by Sonate? <sighs> Guess that won't, I won't be able to. As uh, you know, but, you know, then, you know, no. Then, basically, Sonate says she doesn't mind taking another student, too. As Eno smiles. But then Naruto says, though, how are we going to, I, if I'm going to be gone, Eno is going to probably be worried sinking in. Eno then says, oh wait, how am I going to be with him and, you know, with Naruto, because I don't want to leave his side. You know, she's grounded on because of, she's worried that. Naruto may find someone else, or she's, no, no, she's worried Naruto will find someone else, but she's especially worried with the guys around the village, so, hmm, Naruto, Naruto says he can show her the multi-shadow clone Dutsu, she goes, wait, really? He goes, yeah, he basically can, you know, make a shadow clone, and they can travel at top speed over to the village for everything, and you'll get your knowledge of all, you know, the jutsus and such, but you'll have to have a higher rank chakra for it. And, you know, says, all right, when are we going to start training for that? He goes, soon, like after this. And, you know, Jiraiya just saying, like, huh. You know, he's saying to us, so... So basically saying, so the lovebirds don't want to be apart from each other. All right. I can use this to my advantage. And he just, he just grinned at this. And Aruchimaru knows that grin along with Sonate. And Naruto, you know, already knows. So, yeah. So after that, um, you know, that little thing, that little, you know, talk. You know, Kiyomaru and Naruto, along with everyone else, goes to... The training grounds, Team 7. And the fight goes like this. Kiyomaru and him go into Taijutsu battle. And they're fighting off of each other. And Naruto clearly doesn't have the advantage. But he has the advantage in strength and speed. Not in experience. Which Kiyomaru was able to, you know, read his, you know, his movements a little bit. But not by much. He does get hit a lot. Then he starts using the curse mark. To activate, and basically, he's on you know, he's on to use his bone techniques and such. And Naruto is able to use you know, be able to dodge and you know, evade until a certain point where Naruto then just summons out the black scythe, he just grabs it, and then he just starts slashing at Kiramaru in different ways. That it's hard for Kiramaru to you know, basically move out of the way. And Naruto just tells him, <laughs> This is all you got. As you know, Kimaru goes to stage two. And Naruto just thinks, alright, let's get a little bit more serious. And you know, he just starts to stretch a little bit. 
And then Kiyomaru can already tell Naruto's, you know, the atmosphere is changing. So he goes into his final form, stage 3. And then he pulls out the spine sword that he has. That he, you know, he can, pull, you know, basically use. And he starts fighting Naruto with it. Naruto's able to dodge it. But he lets go of the scythe. And then he, you know, right then and there, he, a black rod and a curve, you know, pops up again. But then it started to change to a sword. As Naruto grabs it, and then he just starts fighting Kiyomaru, so you know, just in sword combat, which shocks him completely. So what happens then? This goes on for about hmm, four, no, 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 twenty-five minutes, and then Naruto basically makes multi-shot clones, well, more than one shot clone. And he starts moving around the area. Naruto was able to get a few hits on it. Kimura was able to destroy some of his clones almost nearly. And then Naruto makes the Sengon. And then he basically froze it. Which I wasn't sure of. And then it turns into a basically skeleton head. And hits Kimura, sending him flying. And then Naruto just rushes over, grabs Kimura's leg, and just slams him to the ground back and forth, throws him up in the air. And then he basically says, Skeleton Horde. By tapping the ground. And then all of a sudden, basically it's only like a hundred. And when he's about to land, all the skeletons are waiting. And then when Naruto says, attack, they all go at him. He's, you know, starting to fight them off. But the more he fights, it just seems like the more they come back up. He's, a he's not able to keep it up for long. Until the point where, the, where all the skeletons are start beating him up into... You know, he just has, like, a few bruises. Naruto was declared a winner. <laughs> Kiyomaru was very impressed by him. So, you know, Sasuke is told about how he's going to be able to go to, you know, working with Orochimaru. Orochimaru already, you know, he tells Tsunade that he's going to be in the village from now on. And his workshop is open, well, his lab will be open to anyone, and he will not do any of his experiments anymore. You know, so she agrees to it. Well, you know, she says, all right, but she says one false move, and I'll have someone execute you. I know what you understand, so well, that happens. <sighs> Naruto then, well, you know, so Naruto teach, is teaching, you know, you know, the, you know, hand signs and increasing her chakra, so that way she can use one and keep it for about eight hours a day, excuse me, so that takes a little bit of time to get her chakra up high enough. But eventually, they get it. And Jorah was just waiting on Eno. So, right when Eno gets it down, Jiraiya does tell them, Alright, we're gonna pack it up. And we're gonna head out then. Uh, Naruto says, alright. So, you know, Eno talks to her parents. They're okay with it. They just ask Naruto to watch over her. He says he will. He's never gonna let her, you know, out of his sight. And she says, I never want to be out of your side. She holds his arm and kisses him on the cheek and he, he blushes. So, what happens next? You know, Sasuke heard about Naruto's leaving. Along with Sakura. So, what happens, so basically they run over to Ino's place. And Sakura is basically shocked that Naruto's leaving. He's going to be gone for three years. And... You know, too, Sasuke just says, Naruto, I want you to fight me at the Valley of the End. Meet me there in a, a couple of hours. Be prepared. You know, basically like that. As he just, just, you know, body flickers away. You know, Sakura doesn't know what's happening. And then Orochimaru basically comes along. He says, you know, he's been, he said he was watching Sasuke. He was... Basically wondering what he was going to do. And now he knows. 
Naruto, go easy on him, will you? As Naruto nods. He, it's, Naruto had a feeling Sasuke was a little bit jealous of his power, but at the same time, he might have been proud. He doesn't know yet. So, he informs Jirai and Tsunade, and Tsunade just says that long somebody's there to keep everything safe. That I'm alright then, so alright with you going. Aruchimaru and Jiraiya says, you know, they'll go along with Kashi. So he meets, you know, Ki Ka you know Kirimaru and the rest of the Sound Ninjas, you know, come with them. So basically, Naruto meets Sasuke at the Valley of the End in three hours, along with Eno, you know, with him. And such, um, Naruto is on, you know, Hashirama's head, along with not Sasuke being on Indra's head. I mean, not Indra, Madara's head. Jesus Christ. So, Naruto asks, what was this about, Sasuke? As Sasuke says, I want to see how strong you became. I need to know. You know, Because he wants to see how far he has to go in training. Naruto warns him that he is stronger than him because of his. Because of who he has become. As you know, he basically takes off the hood and all. As they, you know, Rushimaru sees the ears. He's, you know, asked, What is. Why does he have. You know, wait, no, 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 no. He really knows about the ears. Well, I mean. He should have known about the years. Yeah, I think he does know. But still. He thought those were accessories. Let's just say that. So, so you know, he asked Eno about it. And Eno says he merged with the Nighttail Fox. His chakra and his, his head became merged. Now he has the appearance of the Ninetales. And luckily it's just the ears and the tails. As Afuchimaru is in shock by this, along with their sound ninjas. So, you know, Sasuke says he doesn't care. So, the fight goes similar to canon. A little bit near the whole entire, like, the whole entire, like, Rasengan, like, and Shidori hit the first time. It doesn't, yo. Know, it doesn't involve Naruto, you know, against him flying and, and into the water, and then then Sasuke beating him up, and then a Shidori right to the chest. No, that doesn't happen. Instead, they clash. They both get them flying. Naruto lands, and then right away he makes another. He makes basically a wind kunai, and he throws the Sasuke. And then he makes another thing on and just throws it at Sasuke too. As when he dodges one of them, the other one's right there as he basically activates his, you know, Sharingan. He dodges it, but right when he does, he gets kicked right into the stomach, sent flying. And then he, then he basically using the, you know, basically summons out his scythe, but morph it into chains. Into a chain as Naruto just says, <laughs> This is going to be fun. As then they, you know, starting fighting more. Sasuke is going up to level. No, 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 no. Sasuke won't go to level two. He only goes up to level one. And. Basically what's happening is. Naruto and him are fighting like crazy. You know, doesn't want to stop it. Sakura is there too, I forgot. I forgot about her. You know, not because, well, yeah, because she is a little bit useless in this, but, you know, she's there. She, she's about to run in and stop it, but Aruchimaru says, don't. You'll die if you do. So, yeah. So then Naruto, after, you know, he gets thrown by Sasuke, he lands perfectly, but the one he was slight, he poured chakra into the water. Which Sasuke says, freak. Well, not into the water on top of it. So he says, freak. I didn't want him to you know, do this. And then all of a sudden, 
a little, not a little, Kurama. As Kurama, you know, hmm. When he saw it, the water is covered in his dark chakra on the top of the layer. But, you know, he summon, you know, he basically summons up Kurama. A medium, not very, very huge one, but at least to the size of Naruto. So, he says, so Sasuke says, what, what are you? He goes, I'm your friend. And also Naruto and, you know, Kurama just start running at him. And he's able, he basically doesn't survive the fight by that. I mean, he doesn't really win. He gets his butt kicked and he, you know, surrenders. So then he basically says he has a long way to go. And Naruto says, yeah, but I've been training, you know, I've been training like crazy. And two, I don't think I have a limit to how strong I can get now. So, yeah. So he says, well, that sucks. And they just laugh it off. So that's what happens. Um, Orochimaru says, well, I'll meet you at your house, Sasuke, and, we, and we'll go to my my old place. And, you know, whatever you can do there, we can I can teach you. Kakashi, you know, says he'll follow, you know, or tomorrow, just so know he knows where he lives and all, and uh, he's all right with it. Jiraiya says, "All right, since that's done with, you can rest up, and you know we'll head out tomorrow." So yeah, after that is, after when they get back, um, you know his father asks what's happened, and he just explains it, and you know his father says, "Oh, all right." So yeah. Um. Hmm. So, you know, Naruto just watching TV, she's talking about how she, you know, just is happy to be with Naruto. Naruto's happy to be with her, and he's lucky to have a girl like her. And she's all blushing red, and he's just smiling. Kurama, you know, they were like, she was laying on him, so Kurama was in Naruto's lap. And, you know, she picks up Kurama, put it on her lap, and... We put him on her lap and then just started, you know, leaning on Naruto again. As he has his arm around her. And they were just watching the TV. You know, yeah, the TV. Just like watching, just watching something that takes an hour movie. So, yeah. So, after that, you know, they all go to bed. And Naruto... Naruto decides to try something. Try to see if he can connect to the dead. So he can get the other half of Karama from his father. So, you know, he starts to meditate. He goes into his mindscape. But then... And then basically, Karama says, so, you're finally gonna get it? He goes, yeah, I am. So basically, he opens up a, not a portal, but a wall opens up and a light is shown. And Naruto says, wish me luck. Karama says, you don't need luck. So, Naruto enters the portal and, well, let's just say, he, uh, He basically finds his father and mother. He asks for the other half of Karama. And, you know, this father's a plot, you know, just says, all right, that's it. You're the only one. He goes, yeah, I also want to talk to you guys. So he talks to them, find out a little bit more stuff about them. And then he leaves and... Okay, yeah, and then he just puts his 
fists, he bumps fists with his father, as then basically what happens. You know, the power is transferred over to him, so he has Yang and Yang released now. So, yeah. So, after that, no, he wakes up. No, no, he wa he uh, he wakes up after you know his father you know explain you no know, while the new nine tails you know talks to him about how the old you know nine tails is a part of him and all that to him he goes like oh all right so he becomes a part of Naruto too and now basically yeah so then he wakes up. He goes into the kitchen area, and they, they, you know, he helps out make breakfast. You know, they come out, and they eat Naruto's breakfast. Which surprised, you know, because she didn't expect him to be this good. You know, on his first time. You know, just this good, basically. You know, Naruto kind of just laughs and a little bit blushing. So, yeah, and what happened? You know, after they eat, Jirai gets there. You know, they, uh, you know, you know, goes to get her bag. Naruto goes to get his. He tells, but when he comes back, he tells Jirai about what he did and that he got Yin and Yang released. And he goes, <laughs> just another power we have to figure out. And he goes, yeah, true, but hey, we'll figure it out, guys. So, yeah. So, what happens is, um, you know, Naruto does exactly the same thing like in canon. Looks at the you know, Hokage statue puts up his hand and just, you know, makes a fist. He leaves along with Jiraiya and Ino. And, well, that is where we're gonna end this video off. And remember, it's because of, well, I don't really remember Shippuden much besides it. And also, um, I may have to, yeah, I'll keep the image, and I'll come back to this what if, just for now, this is on pause, because I want to, you know, wait like a while to do it, so I can get my bearings in it, and all that, and I am apologizing it's so short, and that too, but, um, I'm apologizing for this video to be short than, you know, usual. It's just because of memory and, two, I'm just starting to fall asleep. So, yeah, it's already 3.40. <laughs> so, I don't know what you guys are doing, but, hey, I need to sleep. And this video will be uploaded by 5. And I didn't, I just wasted time just trying to, like, sleep. I could have made the video and then I could have made the Persona one when I got home. But no, I decided to try to fall asleep, and I apologize for that, guys. Well, I stayed up for a little bit, made that, you know, post on my comments. And then I tried to make the video, I just was falling asleep, and now I'm awake, and, well, you know, I'm making you guys the video. So, yeah, anyways, all of you stay safe, you know, and hope you guys have a nice day or night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.